hello, good morning. It's a Sunday and we're gonna have a bit of a Sunday reset. Luckily, I'm still feeling pretty on top of things, um, especially as I've obviously started uploading to YouTube again, so I'm doing a little bit more. But even so, this week I it still felt like a little bit of a busy week and I feel like I kind of just want to reset a little bit. There are still some things that I want to focus on um, that I just haven't gotten around to kind of like planning yet. I'm also going to do some writing. Um, I It's funny because I made that sustainable writing routine mid last week um, or end of last week I think and then <laughs> didn't actually get the chance to start on it so that means that technically for the first week of December I like haven't actually done the routine but I was thinking that today I would sit down and do some writing and it would probably be a couple hours of writing in which case I've then technically like caught up with my goals for last week and I only have to do like two and a half hours of working on the project to do so which is also why this writing routine is going to be more sustainable for me this month because even if I don't write throughout the entire week it's really not much of a stretch for me to do the two hours in one day so I also want to sit down and restart my Wim Hof Method um, fundamentals course. I started the course in the summer and then just like got back to Canada basically after traveling and didn't continue it. So I'm gonna restart it so that I can do the full 10 week course over the next 10 weeks, um, ideally. So yeah, and then I don't know, the only other thing, I have booked yoga today at this beautiful yoga studio, so I have to go to that and like I probably have to leave in 45 minutes or so. But right now to start my day I'm just gonna continue with my coffee and then I'm gonna continue making my little face oil that I was gonna make. Um, in case anyone's interested, I'm using jojoba as the uh, carrier oil. I'm also very beginner at making oils, um, but something that I'm trying to work towards um, is trying to create more things rather than going out and purchasing things. And I have all of these things as like individual ingredients that I use individually anyways, and I was like, when I was at that shop the other day with all of the goodies in it, I was like, why don't I pick up a dropper bottle and just make myself a face oil? I'm gonna make that face oil now. I'm probably only gonna fill this up halfway because I kind of want to test it and see how I like it and then I can do something else in the same bottle if I want. So I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, make my little face oil, maybe listen to some music or a podcast and then it'll probably be time to go to yoga. it'll work. I just am gonna put a very small amount because I don't know if the essential oil is too strong. I did top it off with a lot of the carrier oil <clears throat> and the vitamin E, so I think it should be okay. It smells very eucalyptus-y though. I think it's definitely gonna be like a morning face oil because it's very invigorating and refreshing and so far no burning sensations um, and it's not too oily so I think I think it's good
Okay, so I'm back from yoga. It was wonderful, exactly what I needed this morning. I'm much less sore. And then I also um, got to go and pick up some pottery that I worked on like three weeks ago. Um, it's the first, I've done pottery before, but it's the first time since high school that I actually had pieces that like got fully finished. The first thing that came back was this mug that I put some paintings on. I'm not really sure. I would also like to say I didn't do like the glaze. So the firing and the glazing was done by the teacher um, after the fact. So I don't really know what happened here, but the whole inside is glazed. Um, and then the mountains are on the outside. And then this one's my favorite. I made like a little, I guess like a jewelry dish or just something to put little trinkets in or even like snacks, I guess. But yeah, I'm excited about that. Honestly, I'm probably gonna try and do some pottery myself and then see if I can like play around with the glazing to like try and learn how that works. But yeah, I don't know. I just thought that was so fun. It's so fun that you can just make something from like something that comes from the earth. And then now I have this. <laughs> I really need to clean up my space. Um, and then I honestly might take a nap, but so far, Really nice Sunday. You see that number? So I've actually already spent like an hour working on Between the Waves today, so I'm only gonna do probably another hour or so of reading through the manuscript feedback, um, and then that'll be two hours. So technically that will be hitting my goal for last week, so I'm kind of playing a bit of catch up, but I'm okay with it. So yeah, I basically just spent an hour or so trying to figure out how to combine the comments that I got on the manuscript. So so with Microsoft Word, you actually can basically like combine one document with another document. Now I have one document that is just all the combined comments from my beta readers um, in the manuscript. Like I can see that there's like one line here that every single person commented on, um, which is actually really nice to see because it's interesting to see if there are particular lines or parts that every single beta reader commented on. But anyways, the point of me updating you is the fact that combining all of those comments, I have a total of 1,790 comments. The nice thing is that a lot of those comments are not feedback that I have to like action, if that makes sense. Like, I've already scanned through and a lot of them are um, like spelling or grammar things or like sentence structure, which is okay, but just not something I'm looking at right now. Um, a lot of them, which is nice, are compliments and stuff and like parts that they really enjoyed, which obviously are important to me, but it's again, not something I'm looking for right now. And once I've done that, I'm gonna go back to my um, note that I have that has listed all of the issues that I need to deal with based on the questionnaires. I'm going to compare it to the comments that are in the manuscript, but I feel like a lot of the comments in the manuscript are going to be aligned with what the beta readers mentioned in the questionnaire anyways, so hopefully it won't be too different. And the goal is that at the end of that I will have a list of the main things in this draft that need to be fixed. I imagine I'll have a list of like five to 10 major overarching things that need to be fixed. And then from that, I'm probably just gonna pick like three things that I really wanna focus on for the next draft. Um, and then we're gonna go from there. I have a lot of like content to work through. So yeah, again, trying not to get overwhelmed, but I'm gonna sit down now and kind of just read through all of these comments on the manuscript. Yeah, and that's the plan, but it's already like 8 p.m. on a Sunday, so. But also I went to yoga today. I got to like get my pottery back, which is really exciting. I cleaned my room, 
had lots of good food <laughs> so I feel like I'm I'm feeling pretty good um, it was a very nice like relaxing Sunday and I feel very happy to be working on writing right now um, just because everything else felt very like grounding and refreshing so almost 9 30. Um, I've done the two hours I think. I overestimated how quickly I could get through the manuscript feedback. There, I mean to be fair there are you know almost 2,000 comments. A lot of them can kind of be glazed over for right now but even so it's taking time. So I've done 10 chapters tonight. Um, tomorrow I'll try to get through a few more. I have like two and a half pages of notes now. Um, and I know I'm gonna have to go through those as well. It's still helpful, like the more comments and feedback that I read through, the clearer the issues become. I'm getting clarity around the problems, which is good, but there's a lot of problems, you know? Like there's a lot to be fixed and I just have to keep reminding myself that this is a marathon, not a sprint, even though I'm very used to sprinting. Um, and I'm learning, I'm learning so much from this book, so I'm learning so much from the writing process, I'm learning so much from my beta readers, I'm learning so much about storytelling, and that's what matters. So yeah, um, I'm gonna, I definitely don't think I'm gonna write five poems today because it's a slow Sunday, and now all I want to do is brush my teeth and get in bed and read a little bit. I think I'm gonna read this book, it's called bird by bird. A friend read it and then gave it to me because she said that she thought I'd like it. So yeah, I'm gonna, it's, I'm just tired <laughs> and I've done a lot today and I've managed to still get lots of like self-care kind of stuff done. I think that's it. I'm too tired to even like close this out properly and I was gonna put this video up tomorrow so I do need to close it off. So thanks for being here and watching. Still good to be back. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.